<laughs> so who are y'all playing? Robinson. Waco Robinson. Waco Robinson. Where at? In Bryan, Texas. Oh, that's cool. Um, are y'all excited? <laughs> Very yes. good. excited. Nervous? Yes. Yeah, kind of. We're ready. We're ready. We're ready. Good luck. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I am here with Die Ball Soccer Coach and I was going to ask you a few questions on going to playoffs. Um, are y'all prepared for this game? We are very prepared. We have a very good chance of winning. Good, good. Are you excited? We're very, very excited. Like I said, we have a better chance of winning this year than we did last, and they did an awesome job last year. Good. We're playing Robinson. We play in Bryan. Mm -hmm. um, this is a long time. A little less than three. Okay. I'm here with some of the soccer boys, and um, I was wondering why y'all didn't go to playoffs since the girls went to playoffs. Um, uh, oh, I don't want to answer that. Do you want to answer that? Uh, Ricardo wants to answer that. Well, it's been a, it was a tough season. Um, a lot of players got injured. Um, well, like for example, this guy right here, he, he oh no, matter of fact, um, one of our best players, Jesus Alvarado, got injured. <laughs> he broke his uh, tailbone and <laughs> collarbone, and <laughs> he was out for a while. And um, well, practice didn't really go well too too much of the time. We didn't take things seriously. But uh, next year we plan on coming back, and we will go to playoffs, and we will win, and we'll go to state, and we and will win. win, and we'll, we'll go to the country, <laughs> and we'll win. We're, we're next next year we're gonna have David. We're gonna next have year, David Laredo. Uh, he's, he's a very a, fat guy, but he's really good. Transfer student from Mexico. Uh, he's, he's a well-known goalie. Um, I guess because he covers most of the goal, most of the <laughs> And uh, next question. How many games did y'all win? Next year, they, they go into the field with confidence and we'll just take that from them. Yeah, that's right. Good answer? Good answer. Yeah. Alright, next question. If there are any more? I guess that's it. Well, I guess we just gotta go back to practice. See, you wanna see how good we are? Yes, we are. Yeah. I'm gonna pick the world up and I'm gonna drop it. Um, today's weather is very cloudy. It is 30% chance of rain and I think it's 71 out here. My name is Carlos Perez, and I'm going to tell you about the Gay Jesus play, and we're here at Tarleton University, and yeah, this is all about the Gay Jesus play, and I feel that it's like uncalled for to bring up Jesus' name in a gay way, you know, and I'm about to ask, ask these students here uh, what they feel about the play, you know, and well, what do you feel about the play of Gay Jesus? See, I'm a homophobe, but I'm scared of gays. I don't approve of it. Yes. That's my, you know, my opinion. Well, uh, the Bible says that um, homosexuals do not enter the gates of heaven, and I don't see why they would think that Jesus is okay with that, and they would portray Jesus as a homosexual. That's my opinion. So well, I don't got nothing about gay people. I don't got nothing against gay people because I'm gay. <laughs> Well, that's that, and that's what the people have think think about the gay Jesus play, and it's it's not right. Hi, hit Bob, and I'm interviewing about legalizing marijuana. To me personally, I'm a fan of marijuana, and, and I would like it to be legalized. How about you? I think it's good. I got arthritis, so I smoke. Look, yeah, it hurts. American made doobies. Everything in here. It helps our various patients, it helps diabetes patients. They should make it a medicine. They should sell it in pharmacies. They, it helps anorexia, they, uh, so they can eat. You know, you can tell, for me, I was anorexic. <laughs> well, I guess that's, that's a good explanation for it, to use the drug, well, and health-wise, for it could cure people and help people in many ways, like yourself, as you say, you were anorexic and now you're, you're fully healthy. And how do you how do you feel about it? Like, what did how did it make you feel? You're annoyed. It's okay. Oh my weed. Well, like I was saying, it makes you feel happy. It makes you feel safe. 
And I have sleep anxiety, so it makes me sleep. Yeah. That's, that's, that's pretty good right there. That's all, That's all you gotta say. Well, we're here. Yeah. And in at the border of the United States and Mexico, we're we're actually experience, we're experiencing the, the crossing of marijuana into the United States. As you can see, we have the drug dealers ahead of us, and uh, what you would call the um, the receiver of the marijuana. And um, well, they do this very very slowly. They make sure that nobody is watching. They do everything very carefully. See, as they they know the the narrow point of the river, and. Oh my god, oh my god. Border Patrol, Border Patrol, what are they gonna do? What are they gonna do? What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? No! Seems to me as long as they have gotten away, that the, the guy who has received it is, is getting away with it. He's getting away with it. Seems as long as he's continuing his product, he's leaving. He is leaving the scene. He's leaving the scene.